Hello and welcome to Value TV. It's February and love and trust are on my mind. Trust is a necessary component in growing any relationship. Trust requires openness and gives you a sense of security. Some people put their trust in worldly things and sadly stay disappointed, worried, and doubtful. What or who do you put your trust in? Welcome to Victor's. I'm Heather Greenberg, event manager here at this wonderful establishment. I handle the off-site events all around Florence and the surrounding areas, as well as business development. I'm very excited to be a part of the Victor's family. I just moved here from Chicago, Illinois, and married a wonderful man from Florence, and I look so forward to building our life and family here in this fantastic town. I did want to let everybody know that Victor's is not just a wonderful restaurant, we're so much more. We handle catering of any size in and outside of the restaurants. We will come to your office, we will come and do a holiday party at your home, and we'll also be able to offer anything from galas to full service weddings. We look so forward to continuing to build our brand and servicing the PD region and the surrounding areas. Hi, my name is Cooper Thomas from Victor's in Florence. I am honored to have recently been chosen as a chef ambassador for the state of South Carolina. It's a pilot program started by the governor to try to connect farmers in the state to the local tourism industry. So when you come to Victor's, you can be proud that you're supporting the local community and local farmers. Coming soon, we'll have express breakfast options for those who are on a tight schedule in the morning. And don't forget, we're also a great place to have breakfast meetings. So come join us. We're very excited here this evening. We're at the SIMT Center. You can see behind me the large crowd of people. This is our first, our inaugural entrepreneurial forum. We've got 15 outstanding people from the community that we're going to be inducting. We've got a great program lined up. Just a super exciting evening and afternoon. And as we get into this and get this uh, inaugural event behind us, we're going to be launching an entrepreneurial studies program and this forum, the folks that we're inducting this evening, will be a big asset to that. They will be mentors for the people that are in the entrepreneurial program, and they come from all walks of the community. So they bring lots of different skills and talent to work with young or old entrepreneurial people. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Coates-Wan, the Medical Director at Carolina's Rehab Hospital. I'm a board certified physical medicine and rehab physician in practice over 11 years. As a rehab physician, I have experience treating a wide variety of chronic and acute diseases and injuries that can cause disability. There are several options for receiving the care you need when recovering from a disabling condition. At Carolina's Rehab Hospital, patients receive the most comprehensive level of rehab care. 
Patients are seen daily by the rehab physician and receive at least three hours of individualized one-on-one -on -one therapy throughout the day. The entire team works together to maximize patient recovery and overcome any barriers. Our facility consistently performs better than national averages for discharge of patients back to the community setting. Carolina's Rehab Hospital is the only rehab center in the area accredited by CARF, the National Accrediting Organization for Rehab. This ensures that we meet important standards for patient care, safety, and community involvement. Our facility has 42 patient rooms, all private, and each with its own private bathroom. Our newly remodeled therapy facilities allow us the space and equipment to meet each individual's personalized needs. Carolina's Inpatient Rehab also extends support group services to the community, including a chapter of the National MS Society and Parkinson's Disease Support Group. Here at Carolina's Rehab Hospital, patients are treated by an experienced and compassionate team, which includes the rehab physician, rehab nurse, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, psychology, social work, and other services as may be needed depending upon the condition treated. All care is individually tailored to the patient's condition and the specific needs which need to be addressed to return back home as independently as possible. This individualized, team-based approach allows for the highest level of recovery in the shortest time, returning patients back to their homes, families, jobs, and other interests. Experience the technical advantage in Hartsville, South Carolina. Florence Darlington Tech opened its Hartsville site in 1990. Beginning with about 10 students, the campus has now grown to over 250 students today. Florence Darlington Tech of Hartsville provides academic, technical, and continuing education courses and programs for Hartsville and its surrounding areas. Our programs are affordable and accessible and we maintain an array of courses and programs which provide students with the necessary skills to obtain employment. We're always adding new classes and programs to meet the needs of our students and this area. We give back to the community through our student club, The Swarm. Through volunteerism, we provide our students with well-rounded education that includes civic duty, leadership, and networking. We look forward to continuing to grow along with Hartsful, meeting the needs of students and their employers in years to come. Florence Darlington Technical College, the affordable option. Rebecca Thompson, licensed massage therapist, is proud to announce the opening of her very own solo practice, Thompson Therapeutic Massage, located at 2137C Hoffmeyer Road in the Westgate Office Park. Come experience the level of quality you have come to expect in her new charming and serene atmosphere. As always, gift certificates are available. Give Rebecca a call at 843-843. 230-7961 to book your appointment or for a gift for that special someone. Hello, I am Dr. Eric Robinson, principal of Wilson High School. Hello, my name is Amanda Anyum and I am the student body president of Wilson High School. A day in the life at Wilson includes a focus on the academics, arts, and athletics. Academically at Wilson, we are pleased to offer the STEAM program, which includes an introduction to engineering class and principles of biomedical science. This is the introduction to engineering design class that we're in right now, and in this class, students learn what engineers do, and they learn the principles of design and design process. They get some really amazing skills by the time they get out of high school. Here at Wilson High School, a school with an international baccalaureate program, we pride ourselves in academic excellence with 13 Palmetto Fellows last year and over $3 million in scholarships. We feel comfortable in saying that we are preparing for the future. As a graduate of the IB program, I thought it was very important that I come back and impact our future by giving back to the people that made me who I am today. What I love about coming to work every day is having students such as those sitting in this classroom to work with, ones who are enthusiastic about learning. Wilson was great when I was a student and is still great, it's strong, the torch is high. Uh, we've got very good students here, and that's one reason why I'm proud to be a teacher at Wilson. Our arts program gives our students an avenue to express their creativity through different genres. From our visual arts class to orchestra, from band to our honors course, 
also known as our world-renowned Tiger Production, come and enjoy some of Wilson's finest displays of art. We're experiencing great success this year through marching band, concert band, jazz band, and um, other ensembles, and it's just an honor to be here. To do the rise with all of our might. I'm standing here in the band room named after Leon Harvey, my band director, where he taught us the alma mater, to live up to the ideals that were in the words of the alma mater, and our watch words, knowledge, skills, and character. Being a teacher here, it is my duty to give those students that I teach the same thing that Mr. Harvey taught us. Here at Wilson, we are proud to always express our Tiger pride. Athletically, we compete at a high level, and some of our students have moved on to compete at the highest level of competition. A long list of great athletes have come through here in this athletic program that have gone out and done amazing things in their lives. Uh, name a few, uh, we have Lawrence Timmons, Super Bowl winner with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, Harry Carson, Super Bowl winner with New York Giants, Clayton Holmes, Super Bowl winner with the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Darian Durant, Grey Cup winner, uh, his brother Justin Durant, he also plays professional football, Johnny P. Brunson played for the New England Patriots. Uh, we just had a great group of young men come through this program. Thank you for taking this journey with us in a day in the life of Wilson. We are Wilson! Hi, I'm George Manos with New Generations Adult Day Center and Home Care here in Florence, South Carolina. Last year was a very active year for New Generations as we expanded programs and services to meet the needs of our clients throughout the PD. Among those clients are those with disabilities and special needs. Moving into this year, we're excited to announce the addition of a 5,000 square foot expansion of our Florence Adult Daycare Facility. This will house our senior population, which we serve for over 18 years. To further speak about our special needs area, I have our program director, Stacy Flowers, to speak to us about Gary's Game. Hi, my name is Stacy Flowers. I'm so excited about the expansion because that only means I get to plan more activities and we have more outings planned and a lot more friendships. I feel like I'm so blessed to be able to be a part of this. I guess you'd say it's a dream come true. I, I keep thinking every time a new child comes in, that's a new family member. Mm -hmm. And this is it. This is the most perfect job. like I have the best job ever so come join us at Gary's Game. We'd love to have you. Hello, I'm Joey McMillan, the owner of Coldwell Banker McMillan & Associates here in Florence, South Carolina. We've been in business for over 33 years. We have 47 agents to serve your real estate needs. We are the largest real estate firm in the PD area. Here at Coldwell Banker, we build our business through networking, friends and family, which is the best way to build your business. Interest rates are at an all-time low, and we feel like through the spring they'll remain that way. So it's a great time to buy a house. It's also a great time to put your house on the market. We offer very good tools for our sellers. At Coldwell Banker, we want to be your trusted source of innovative real estate solution, creating exceptional experiences for all we serve. Experience the technical advantage in Lake City, South Carolina. For over 17 years, the Lake City campus has provided affordable technical education to Lake City and the surrounding communities. We began initially with 25 students and have since grown to over 350. At the Lake City campus, we pride ourselves on being able to personalize the experience for each type of student or customer. We're offering a myriad of classes towards earning a certificate, degree, or diploma. Classes for high school students who plan to earn college credit prior to graduation. 
and specialized training for our local business and industry. Our goal is to encourage students to take the technical advantage and become workforce ready. And as Lake City and the surrounding communities grow, our job is to produce those workforce ready graduates. Florence Darlington Technical College, the affordable option. Heart attack warning signs aren't always this obvious. Know the signs. If you experience them, call 911 because every minute matters. And know that you can count on emergency heart care at Carolina's hospital system. Hi, I'm Brent Tiller with Pinnacle Network Solutions. And today we're at Briggs Elementary where they're piloting the first HP Chromebook initiative for Florence School District 1. Let's take a step inside and see Ms. Chisholm and her class as they use this new technology in the classroom. Across the country, school districts are using Google Chromebooks across many grade levels. Here at Florence District 1, we are piloting third graders in hopes we tap into their enthusiasm and focus on math, reading, and typing skills to better prepare them for real world applications and improve testing skills. When I heard that we were going to get these, I, I really got excited because um, we know that technology is definitely going to be a part of these children's future and to be able to start them earlier than I was able to start was exciting to me. Um, we're still learning as teachers all the things that they can do um, on the Chromebooks and as we learn we get them started immediately. So we've tried some things already in the week or so that we've had them and they're, they're just soaking it up. They love it and so um, we're looking for all the, the ways that we can use this in the future, educationally especially, but we're also having a little bit of fun with it. Well, I think the Chromebooks are really fun because we're really learning a lot of things. It is learning and fun. I like the Chromebooks because they're really fun to learn and do stuff on them. Hello, I'm Jennifer Robinson. Psalms 25 and 1 says, In you, O Lord, I will put my trust. And I thank God that we have opportunity every day to think about trust and who we trust and making sure that we trust the Lord in everything that we do. When I think about trust, the first thought is that I need to make sure that I put my trust in the Lord for everything. Sometimes we fail in trusting God because we think He's not there with us, but He's always there, He's always with us, and He wants us to know that He's with us. One of the phrases in the, in the Word that I think about is trust and believe, and first you have to trust that God is there really before you can believe. And I'm excited to know that God is there and He's with us at all times. In my life, I went through many things and trust was a big issue. When you lose the trust of a friend or a family member, it affects your trust, unfortunately, with God. But what I know is that you can always go back and renew that trust at any time. I always make sure that I get into the Word and I always renew that trust with my Lord and Savior because it's so important. And it also helps us to renew our trust with those around us, with our family and friends. We first have to believe that the Lord is with us and then that helps us in everything that we do from our jobs, to our families, our careers, everything that we do in school, we have to have that trust. God will put in your place, in your path, people that you can rely on, people that will, will be there for you. So if you trust God, you can trust that He has brought me to you to help you and to serve you. And I love that about the, my career, I love that about my job, and I love that about my family. We always have to trust each other, love each other, and be there for each other. I thank you for letting me share. My name is Jennifer Robinson, and have a good day. Hi, this is Tammy Clark with the Savvy Mag. 
wanting to let you know about some new and exciting things that we have going on. You can check out our new website at thesavvymag.com where you can also place digital advertisement and pay online. We'd like to thank the community for their continued support and we'd like to remind everyone to please shop local and support your local businesses in the Florence community. Thank you again. My name is Jamana Swindler and I will be directing our winter comedy, which is a British farce in three acts, Noises Off. The comedy takes place in a mansion and there are a number of uh, duplicitous activities that occur and it is a play within a play. So a number of the actors not only play who they are, but the character that they portray on stage. There'll be a lot of fun, a lot of shtick, a lot of comedy, lots of motion. Uh, it will be an investment of good time. So we really want everybody to come out and enjoy the fun. Join us March 6th through March 14th. A special thank you to our underwriter, a friend of FLT. Tickets go on sale March 4th. Call the box office at 662 3731 for more information. Hello, my name is Beth Jones and I'm a realtor in Florence, South Carolina. I've been selling real estate for 10 plus years and primarily working with families with children and first time home buyers. 30 years in sales, real estate has been a perfect fit for me. The relationships that I've developed with my clients have led to referrals that are the backbone of my business. For me, it's, real estate's not just about the sale, it's about the entire process, handling the detail through honesty, integrity and making the right fit for the client. If you're listing a house, the first impression is the most important. Have that front door looking perfect. If you're buying a house, make sure you look at more than one house so you make the right decision. Experience the technical advantage in Mullins, South Carolina. The Mullins Technology Center opened in 2003 with a little over 30 students. Today we have enrolled as many as uh, 700 students. We have classes that will accommodate evening students, day students. We have a lot of flexibility. We have classes that go Monday through Thursday. In our classes, we have 22 lecture classes with teachers in our classroom. We have 28 distance learning classes. At any given time, we can have anywhere between 50 and 60 classes a semester. We are now in the process of adding on a, an additional phase three building which will incorporate many medical programs. Uh, we will have full bio labs and we will have uh, the opportunity to offer CNA classes and many medical programs much needed for our community since the hospital is one of the largest employers. Florence Darlington Technical College, the affordable option. Hi, I'm Officer Merchant from the Florence Police Department. I'm Officer Hubble with the Florence Police Department. I love working for the City of Florence Police Department. It gives me a chance to serve my community. Working patrol, I've been with the Police Department for five years. I interact with the community and I know a lot of people in our community. I love getting the chance to help people and get people out of bad situations. It gives me a chance to drive them in the right direction in life. Working for the City of Florence Police Department, I've learned a lot of skills to help me develop further in life as far as honesty, integrity, and community-oriented skills. Uh, helping the community is one of the best parts of my job. Uh, being there in people's time of need when nobody else is there to help them. You're always one running towards the danger when they need you. Being a police officer is not all about putting people in jail. It's about creating a safer environment for the citizens of the city of Florence. It's about creating an environment where criminals don't want to exist. What made me want to join the Florence Police Department was the freedom of being out here with the community and the public. 
at this job you're called to be an electrician, a mechanic, or a plumber. You're whatever people need when they call you and you have to just be there in their time of need. Hi, I'm Alan Hyde, the police chief for the city of Florence. Working in a team environment is part of the city of Florence. The police department focuses on effective law enforcement by building lasting community partnerships. If you're interested in law enforcement as a career and you have a strong sense of community, then we invite you to submit your application and become a part of the City of Florence team. Come join the House of Hope as we celebrate 25 years of serving the homeless in the PD. Our annual Concert for Hope will be held March 23rd at 7 o'clock at First Presbyterian Church. Enjoy coffee and desserts while listening to featured artist Benjamin Birdsong and hear stories of hope. Table sponsorships are still available. Tickets are $15 each or two for $25 and will be sold at our main office located at 1020 West Arlington Street or at the door. Come find out how you can help the House of Hope continue to impact the lives of the homeless men, women, and children in the PD. We must have faith to increase our trust in God. Scripture offers encouragement and helps us realize that God is in control of everything. Accepting God, loving God, and realizing that He has given us the free gift of eternal life should be enough for us to trust Him with anything. Remember, for every child of God defeats this evil world by trusting Christ to give the victory. And the ones who win this battle against the world are the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. 1 John verses 4 through 5. signs aren't always this obvious. Know the signs. If you experience them, call 911 because every minute matters. And know that you can count on emergency heart care at Carolina's hospital system.